Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're here in Chicago and today we have for you are the five things you need to eat when you come here to Chicago and the first thing you need to have because it's going to take you the longest to order it is Chicago deep dish pizza. Look, I know you've had deep dish pizza like pan pizza from Pizza Hunter, pan pizza from Domino's. Oh no, 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 no. This is a totally different level of deep dish pizza here in Chicago. I mean, it is super thick. Like, my Italian friends go, is that a cake? Oh no, dude, that's Chicago deep dish pizza. And the thing is, it is super deep crusted with tons and tons of cheese. Get some sausage in there, some onion, mushroom, oh my God. And then the sauce is on top, it's a really chunky tomato sauce. Oh my God, it's so good. But I'm gonna tell you, it takes a long time to cook. So don't be surprised if you go to one of these places, they say, oh, put your order in now, then go walk around for half an hour and then come back and then we'll be ready to sit you down because it does take a while to cook them. But also just know, you're also not gonna put away the whole pizza. You'll be lucky if you get one or two slices down before you're like, oh my God, I'm so full. I mean, that happens to me. And I don't mess around with food, so just have a heads up for it. And the thing is, there's a lot of places that have it. And there's a lot of people that debate who's the best and stuff like that. Pizzeria Uno is fantastic. You can go to their other one, Pizzeria Due, Due if you want. You can go to Giordano's, you can go to Lou Malnati's, you can go to Gino's East. There's tons and tons of places that have it. But man, just know you are going to be more than full when you come out of there, okay? So have a heads up for that. Now, if you need something that doesn't take quite as long to get, my, my quick pick-me-up while you're walking around Chicago and taking to the cool sites is the Chicago hot dog. And if you want to know what Chicago hot dog is, it's a beef dog. Remember, if the sign says Vienna beef, you'll be okay, all right? Now, it's the Vienna beef dog, right? And so on there, you'll have tomatoes, you'll have pickle or maybe cucumber, you'll have mustard on there, you have slices to tomatoes, and then like little peppers on top. Oh my God, it is so good. And no, it's true, they don't put ketchup on there. I mean, you can ask for it, but just don't. Because honestly, the combination of all those flavors together, I'll be honest, for years, I was not adventuresome enough to try a Chicago dog. Dog. But once I did, I'm like, oh man, that mustard with the peppers, with all the stuff together, really brings it all together and it is really, really awesome. A third, maybe not so healthy thing that we kind of are going on in our order here is having an Italian beef sandwich. Now, Italian beef, you can go to Portillo's, which is a fast food place here, which is kind of popular and it's really good. I like going to Portillo's where I live, so I mean, I, I vouch for Portillo's. And what it is, it's shaved beef in a, in a hoagie roll and they put peppers on top. Oh man, it's so good. But what you want to do is you want to have them dip it. So it gets dipped into the au jus or the juice or whatever and comes out. And believe me, this is not a sandwich you eat with your hands. You're going to need a fork and knife to eat this when you get the wet version of it because it is a complete mess. But it's a completely delicious mess. And speaking of something delicious, the fourth thing you have to eat when you come to Chicago is Garrett's popcorn. Specifically, you want Garrett's mix. Now, Garrett's is a, you know, it's, it's a traditional popcorn place here in Chicago, and it's a fancy popcorn place, and it's a very good popcorn place. And the Garrett's mix is caramel popcorn with cheddar cheese popcorn mixed together. I know it sounds a bit weird the first time you hear it, but the, when the first time you taste it, you're like, oh, this is so good, and you just chow it down. And what's cool about it, if you're flying out of O'Hare and you're looking for a gift to take home, there's a bunch of Garrett's in the airport at O'Hare, so you can grab some there to take with you, because let's be honest, everybody loves popcorn, but everybody really loves really good popcorn, and Garrett's is definitely that, okay? Now, the fifth thing to eat when you do come to Chicago is more of kind of a, an idea I want to get across to you, and that is Chicago has a lot of different ethnicities cities here in the city and they've brought their food from all over the world and you can have some really amazing food here and what's cool is a lot of them will be in certain parts of town where you can go and visit and eat and make merry and have a good time for example you can go to Greek town every time I come here with Johnson we have to go to Greek town to have Greek food if you don't want Greek you can have great Italian food in little Italy you miss Poland yes you can have some amazing Polish sausages here you can have great German food heck they've got Lithuanian food Ethiopian food there's so many great ethnic restaurants throughout the city Mexican food Oh my God, there's so many great Mexican places here in Chicago too, that you really will have a great like experience eating not those first four things I talked about. The thing is though, if you're gonna go to those restaurants, most likely you're gonna have to leave the loop, the downtown area, to go explore and find them. But believe me, it's worth the time for your taste beds and tummies to experience that, okay? And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't mention a special sixth thing, something you should drink when you're here in Chicago.
Chicago. And Chicago is known for its home brewed beer here in Chicago. And yes, there's Goose Island, which is probably the most famous one you'll find around the US, but there's other really good ones too. Half Acre is really good. Two Brothers Brewery is really good. Revolution Brewery. I mean, there's a lot of really great breweries here in town. And sometimes you can take tours, but the thing is you can get the beer all over town at the bars and stuff like that. Whether you're going to Rush Street or you're having a good time at Wrigleyville, you can get some of that great local beer when you are here. And that is something you really will enjoy. So what are some other things you think people should have when they come to Chicago to eat? Because there's a lot more than five or six things. I just want to give you kind of the traditional things to have because honestly, there's so many great restaurants here in Chicago. You're going to eat fantastic. Where you're going to have Gibson Steakhouse and go have some insane, amazing steaks or other places. Go into the Walnut Room, the old Marshall Fields building, Macy's there, and have you know, your, your nice little meal there with the pot pie kind of stuff. There's so much great food and great times to have here in Chicago that please, if you know some good places, put in the comment section below to help other people enjoy this fantastic city one bite at a time. Anyway, I wish you all the best. If you want to learn more about visiting Chicago, the don'ts of visiting Chicago, things that shock people when they come to Chicago, other things like that around the US and around the world, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to click that bell to get the notifications so you actually get the videos that you subscribe for. They'll show up then. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, YouTube, Pinterest, all those places at Walter's World, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and your thumbs up, all those things. And again, if you like travel videos like this, do subscribe because we put out a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. So anyway, I'll say bye from here in Chicago. I wish you all the best, and um, have a nice meal when you're here, because you will. Bye.